Hello everyone, Tom Pounder here, and welcome back for another episode on self-control. Hey, do you remember what self-control is? Hey, self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Even when you don't want to, and even when it's hard. Hey, I want to look at this Bible verse real quick as part of our lesson. It's Proverbs 16, 32. It is better to be patient than to fight. It is better to control your temper than to take a city. What does it talk about being patient and controlling your temper? Have you ever lost your temper before? I know I have. I, I know I've lost my temper more times than I ever wish I would have lost my temper. I wish I would have just stayed patient, stayed calm, and not let my, pa my temper get the best of me and lash out and do something I wish wouldn't have happened. In fact, our bottom line today is think before you lose your temper. Why do you think it says for us to think before you lose your temper? I think it's because when we actually do think, when we take a step back and think about it before we lose our temper and before we act, then we're able to not lose our temper. If we think through the process, if we think why we're getting angry, if we think about how to handle it better, we won't lose our temper. I know I lose my temper when I just react and I'm like, oh, I need to do this. If I would just take a step back, and to think before I lost my temper, I wouldn't have lost my temper, and I bet you, you wouldn't either. So today I want you to think before you lose your temper and really focus on this Bible verse. Again, it's Proverbs 16, 32. It is better to be patient than to fight. It is better to control your temper than take the city. Be patient today. Think before you fight. Think before you take the city. Don't lose your temper. There are better ways to handle situations than to do that. All right, so I wanted you to think about that as well and think about the different ways you can handle a situation rather than losing your temper. Okay, as we wrap up, I want to review the memory verse we we're going to be looking at for the next few weeks. 2 Peter 1.3 God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. Hey, if all else fails and you can't think about different ways to handle a situation, go and ask God how you should handle it. Pray to God how you should handle it. He's going to give everything you need to live a godly life, which means not losing our temper as much as we do. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the day today. I hope you really think about how you can, can think before you lose your temper this week. And I hope you have a great week of self-control. All right. I can't wait to see you next week with a whole new story on self-control. Have a great week, everyone.